to summarize the situation very quickly. A few days ago, a streamer named Alinity decided to copy Stripe one of my videos. Is that joke still funny? I don't think so. Because I used the word Twitch thought. In my opinion, there was no ill intent meant, and it wasn't even directed directly towards Alinity. It was more on the video that I was watching in general. She then fabricated this outrage to steal revenue from me. It happens all the time, and it's pretty clear in retrospect that that was her intention. It happens? This is so annoying. Stupid Twitch thoughts. Seriously? He just said that? I'm gonna copy strike this guy. Just for that word. Gonna copy strike him. Yo! Can we copy strike PewDiePie's latest video? Like right now? He called us Twitch thoughts. If she seemed offended and, and upset of me using the word in the way I did, at least then I could sort of buy what she's trying to say. This is not someone being upset. This is someone going, I can strike this guy's video because I didn't like what he said. You can get in serious trouble in legal court for abusing copyright law. So I don't know why she keeps uh, doubling down on this whole thing. But afterwards, she said very publicly that she earns a good living doing this kind of thing. A company that's called Collab. And they either sending me, they sending me $700 last month from copy strike hitting people. Good money. Good money. Stealing money. At this point, I hadn't said anything. The whole internet already hated Alinity because what she did was wrong and the way she said it was just gross. I wasn't even going to comment about the situation. Believe it or not, I'm not into creating drama. But then she made a statement that was just so offensive claiming all these crazy things about me that I felt like I had to at least respond and so I did but I also apologized twice in fact and a lot of people call me out saying oh you're spineless uh, you shouldn't have apologized to her what she did was wrong and that wasn't really my point she was handling the situation so extremely badly blaming everyone else but herself that I felt like if I can at least admit that I what I did was wrong then maybe she can do that as well so we can just end this, so we can just move on. That didn't happen at all! She then made a response video. I mean, Collab is doing something really bad. And I think that that's the biggest thing to take out from this. Thank you, Alinity, for bringing us attention how bad Collab is. What an absolute saint. The company that you have a contract with, that you boast about getting money from striking people's videos, they are the ones being bad. You, you make a great point here. So instead of just admitting that what she did was wrong, that copy striking my video was the wrong thing to do, the fact that she created this whole situation, instead she just blames Collab. I never seen her actually take responsibility for her own actions in this situation, which is why she's still getting hate. Why am I still getting hate? Now this video got taken down with a fake copy strike. I keep saying copy strike now. <laughs> uh, where it says that I did the copy strike. I don't know how that's possible. I can assure you this is not me. I'm not even memeing. And this is what she had to say about it. It didn't even ask me about it. It just like got taken down. That's kind of stupid. He has a video talking about me and I can't have a video talking about him. Can we copy strike PewDiePie's latest video? That's right, Alinity. It isn't cool. I'm glad you finally realized. <laughs> it's like she... It's like she's learned nothing. I talked to YouTube directly and they did remove this claim. It's gone now. It, like I said, I don't know how it's possible, but someone managed to copyright it with my name. But it was clearly false and it, it's gotten removed now. But that's right. It is a big deal to abuse copyright, which is why you shouldn't do it. <laughs> but in this video, she also had this to say. The message that I want to get out there, like content creators shouldn't be able to call girls whores or thoughts or any names like that based on their appearance. I wouldn't call you a whore. I never called you a whore. Why would you insinuate that? Are you trying to make the situation look worse for me now that you have to back paddle between all these things? Hmm? Let me remind you, this is your face when you watch the video. She even tweeted out that she didn't accept my apology. In his video, when B apologized to me, I don't want a personal apology. I want him to know thought isn't funny because it's such a memeable word. So here she quotes what I say in my video. So she clearly watched my video, but she very deliberately decides to ignore the fact that I said, Alinity, I'm sorry for calling you a Twitch thought. I will definitely be more careful when using that word in the future. That's what I said, and I never used it even as a joking way towards her after that. If she can't accept that apology, what do you want from me? 
Like, what else can I do? It's it's as if she's so used to getting everything done her way that she just keeps pushing this victim narrative. Like, if I seem like a victim enough, maybe they'll turn around eventually. She just keeps pushing and pushing. But here's a Pew News newsflash for you, Linity. No one is buying it! I know you don't portray yourself to be the smartest person, but I know you're not that dumb that you don't- you're not aware of what you're doing. Showing your underwear on stream. That's our fault, right? Uh, and then clicking on full screen right after. Bending over with your butt on camera. That's our fault, right? You're just uh, looking at your butt hair in this video. You're not doing anything else. Eating a popsicle down your throat on camera. That's- that's our fault, right? Because you had a sore in your mouth. That's why you did it, right? Oh, you're just playing games with the, the shortest skirt ever. That's our fault for having you looking at it in any sexual way, right? Oh, guys, I am just adjusting my camera right now. I'm completely unaware of what else is going on. If you have any sort of sexual intention towards this, uh, th that's our fault. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just pushing my bra together to show how a push-up bra works. Uh, that's your fault for seeing anything sexual in that. How dare you? Uh, excuse me, I'm just feeding a porn star mouth to mouth. There's nothing sexual about that. That's your fault for thinking that. Starting to see a pattern here. Now, you might say, oh, you picked this out of context. There's so many videos of this. It just keeps going and going and going. And I don't even have a problem with it. And m in my video, when I said, Say with time, I wasn't even calling that out. So for you to do all these things, right? And then for you to not accept my apology when I said sorry, <laughs> Twice? What do you want? You're just digging yourself deeper and deeper. And I'm not even pushing at this point. By the way, I found this clip through uh, L of the Day. He has some really good videos about the situation. His, his channel was one of the original videos that got striked by Collab DRM as well uh, for calling her out. Now, my whole Twitter has been completely filled with Alinity just liking and retweeting uh, the very scarce comments of uh, people saying bad things about me and good things about her. You truly have to look for these things. <laughs> so it's okay for her to retweet all these things, but, uh, you know, if I do it, it's just the worst. There's this one clip where she very publicly admits to committing marriage fraud, that she moved to Colombia uh, and married this guy just so she could move to Canada. You don't make any money. You work a lot. So I was like, no, hell no. So I married a Canadian and I came to Canada. <laughs> and then I divorced him. <laughs> so she made a whole video talking about it because, you know, it's our fault <laughs> that she publicly admitted it. A lot of people, all his little community, his little nine year olds that have been blocking on Instagram. And I'm telling you guys, these are like nine year olds. Like, they're very young children. Hello, every nine-year-old watching this video. I know you're a complete army just ready to follow my single demand. Who are we gonna attack next, nine-year-olds? Let's go, together! <laughs> and now they're all falsely reporting me to the Canadian government. Now that's illegal. Oh, that's illegal? Thank you for the legal advice by the legal expert, Alinity, everybody! That's right, it's our fault for thinking that she committed marriage fraud when she very publicly and openly said so. How dare you think that way, huh? It's not like she said it. You have to understand the consequence of your own words. I know that's weird for me to say, right? But <laughs> at this point, it's just getting ridiculous. And for you to then come out and say... I am not the first person that he's done this to. She's sort of insinuating that I'm just waiting for the next person to attack when it was clearly her that created this whole situation. I don't know how many times I have to say it. And I don't know how this hasn't been stopped earlier on. But you, when you're a content creator, you are responsible for a community. So it's completely fine for you to call me out with your community, but just because you're a smaller channel, I'm not allowed to defend myself, right? She's sort of insinuating that I should get uh, banned or something like that. I think that as a content creator, you have to be responsible for the people that follow you and the things that you say when a person follows you. I don't think it's okay to allow your community to bully somebody in the way that I've been bullied. I didn't say anything until I had, I was forced to defend myself. It was the internet that came after Alinity because of her poor choice of action and poor choice of words. To then deflect that on me and my community, it's just ridiculous. You're the one that keeps pushing this whole situation. I've been trying to settle it. And guess what? It keeps going. 
it just keeps going. She then very publicly admits that she's been getting special favors from Twitch. But uh, that's our fault. Just watch. Imagine you guys, you stream for five years, full time. I've gotten drunk, I've fallen, my butt has shown, you know, and Twitch has been behind my back the whole time. Like, hey, it's okay, you know, just delete the clips, you know, we're cool. I've been good with Twitch. I've never even had an, a 24 hour suspension. I've never had a suspension on Twitch. Maybe this is the problem. She's never actually been forced to be held accountable for her action. Twitch has, like she says, been giving her favors. Oh God, Alinity, you broke the terms of service. Just delete this video and we'll just move on. When they are so strict on Twitch with these sort of rules and people get banned all the time for this sort of thing. But you know, that's our fault. Chad reacted to this. And Twitch has been behind my back the whole time. Like, hey, it's okay, you know, just delete the clips, you know, we're cool. I've been good with Twitch, I've never even why? How come when I show nudity, they don't tell me that? They just ban me. What the fuck? Oh, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She's clearly just been getting a free pass constantly, which is why she keeps playing this victim, because she gets away with doing that. And guess what? It keeps going on the very same live stream. I swear to God, she's just showing off that she's untouchable at this point. She drops the N word. Why? Black friends call each other's. <laughs> Like, kind of like calling your friend bitch. You know, Twitch, they have very strict rules. People get banned all the time for this sort of thing. You're not allowed to do this. Or, or at least they've been very harsh on guys. One of her own audience members calls her out on this. And this is how she responds. You come in not saying that ever again? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm part black, so I don't, I don't see why the, like, why would they say that? Well, I wouldn't say, I'm like 10 person black. I don't think I, whatever. I'm clearly not the right person to comment about this, but saying the N word in this context, it didn't seem that bad. But for then to her to say, I can say the N word because I'm 10% black and justifying it. Twitch has shown a clear bias for uh, female streamers on the platform for a long time. One of the guys that were handling the IRL streamers got fired because of it. And they made a public statement saying, please watch us closely and hold us accountable. Now, I don't want Alinity banned, but the more I think about it, it might just be good for her. If she doesn't want to apologize, if she keeps wanting to push the situation, at least just stop. At least stop streaming for a few days. Just stop what you're doing because you're not making the situation better. I think it could be a good opportunity for Twitch to show that they're not biased with the rules on the platform and they do follow the same guidelines for everyone. And it would be nice to just see this whole thing end and get a completion of it so that people can move on. Because believe it or not, I, I don't want this whole situation to keep going. I'm not trying to instigate anything further at this point. That's it. Goodbye. 5,000 likes to copy strike PewDiePie.